Now to call six investigates, this man was hired to be a DCS caseworker, claiming he was wrongfully terminated. But you'll never believe why he says he got fired. We wondered what exactly is the process for hiring the people who help abused and neglected children in our communities. Call 6 Investigates has learned the state does not require Googling a worker's name before hiring them. Kara Kinney has the debate over whether this man should have been hired to begin with. Matt Heimbach wants to work with abused and neglected children. Well, I want to be a DCS worker uh, because I see communities in need. The Indiana Department of Child Services hired him January 11th to be a family case manager in Du Bois County, close to where he lives. DCS has been plagued with turnover, and records show Heimbach is one of nearly a thousand new case workers hired in the last year. But Heimbach says his employment was cut short when a co worker found out about his political beliefs and reported him to DCS supervisors. A day later on January 28th, Heimbach says he was escorted out of training. Before I was able to even say anything, I was handed a piece of paper that said, uh, you're fired. Were you given an explanation? No. This story started with a tip telling us to look into who DCS is hiring, specifically Matt Heimbach. A simple Google search got our attention. Our day will come and these foes will be defeated and we will rise again as a race of people. We found dozens of videos online, including this clip on his organization's YouTube channel. You have been called the new face of organized hate, and yet you want to work with kids? Of course, and I care about all kids. The 24-year-old says while working for DCS, he had supervised access to children and families. I was able to uh, administer drug tests to, uh, to one family, to be able to run several different interviews uh, with, uh, with families and do visits. Are you a white supremacist? I'm not a supremacist and I've never been a supremacist. I simply believe that my people deserve a voice. But listen to what he told Nightline in 2014. Do you consider yourself a racist? Sure. So what? I call it natural. Being a racist is natural. Loving one's people is natural. Comments he now says were taken out of context. So we asked him again, are you a racist? No, I've never been a hate-filled person. I have no animosity towards any other group. But it's this title that's thrown out for any white person that thinks that we should be able to stand up for ourselves. The Paoli, Indiana resident prefers to call himself a white nationalist, a pro-white community activist, someone who advocates for white people. Heimbach believes DCS fired him because of his political beliefs, despite this policy that says employees can't be demoted or dismissed because of political affiliations. One of my black co-workers was talking about being involved in the Black Lives Matter movement. There is obviously a double standard. Before hiring caseworkers, the state conducts a slew of background checks, including criminal, but Google searches are not required. The agency also provides a 12 week training period for family case manager trainees to determine if an employee is a good fit. The state declined our request for an on camera interview, but told us Heimbach was not fired for political reasons. His behavior and training was disruptive of the workplace, incompatible with public service, and not protected speech. While in training, his response to a question suggested violence against a client. Heimbach denies being violent. DCS fired me last week. He returned his equipment to DCS, but says it's not over. He plans to appeal his firing and get his job back. Because I think I could be a good family case manager. I think I could bring a lot to the department. It's possible the state could end up in court over Heimbach's firing. Heimbach has contacted the ACLU and says his case could have implications for anyone with political views, especially in the age of social media. This is really a civil rights slippery slope that we're seeing. Because... And we were on Facebook Live earlier today talking about Matt Heimbach, his beliefs, and DCS's hiring and firing policies. Matt even joined us in that conversation, taking some of your questions about his situation. Now, you can still find this Q&A on the RTV6 Facebook page, and you can tell us what you think about all of this. Kara, it's no surprise. Thousands of people have already commented on this, but some are saying, why even give this guy airtime? Well, that's the thing. Even if you don't care about this guy or the fact that he got fired, you don't care about his his political beliefs, you should care who's being hired at DCS. These are caseworkers that are working with children who are vulnerable, who have been abused and neglected. You should care about that. And if you, if you don't, it's your tax dollars that are paying for these caseworkers. Very good point. Thank you, Kara.